Okay, my second day of my uh, night shift. Second day of uh, how many weeks na ito? Three weeks? Yes, three weeks. It, last night, I worked at the different station. Uh, I worked at the South, Five South. Usually, I work at uh, North Five. But last night, I was surprised they sent me to the different uh, workplace. So, I got lost last night. But, uh, I managed to uh, do my job. But, I I had a, a lot of patients. I have like, I had like 16 patients. Can you believe that? But, I mean, they all helped me. The nurses. And then the other PCDs, yes. Although I'm not used to the workplace, so I kind of like don't know what I was going to do last night. Like I get la lost in finding the stuff that I need, and sometimes I have to walk all the way far, all the way to the five north just to get the stuff that I need. Can you believe that? Yeah. Hopefully they don't send me again anymore. I don't know. They said that I'm good for now. For now. So it means that it's possible again that they will send me again to the different station. Hopefully not because I don't like the people there. They're hmm, they're a little uh, strict. Mo mostly the morning pers morning people. Yeah. Night shift, I don't have a problem. They're all nice. They're all helping me. Yeah. I mean, everywhere you go, I guess you have you always have to uh uh, encounter people like that even in my workplace sometimes mostly uh if one if the one nurse that i don't like oh i don't like her when she's you know at work because she's like so bossy she's like bossy than the doctor doctor don't even you know well the doctor didn't don't even talk to us or i don't even see the doctor so yeah they don't tell us what to do but this one nurse oh my god she always keep like do this do that uh, she's supposed to do that and then she told us to do it you know but yeah so i guess that's how she is but i don't know you know and you're busy she's busy you kind of like you uh you distracted with your own uh routine well okay enough with my talking you have to go it's uh I'm a little late today. Not late, late, but yeah. 6, 8, and usually I come here before 6. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm going home. It's a little chill today. Oh my god. It's not hot anywhere like it used to be. I guess because it's fall, you know. That's what fall is. Okay, I am now home and I'm ready to go to sleep. God, I am so tired. Remove this pen. I always have to have pen. I cannot live without it now. And then a watch because I need a watch to see the time. I know we have time all over the place, but I like to have my own. And then lip balm. Sorry. Oh, what else? Uh, my, uh, my cheap paper that's all the list that i have to get used to yes right now i you know i kind of like looking back to that sometimes when i'm trying to remember things you know and then my notepad i have to have a notepad because i always you know trying to write something and then yes i'm going to remove my makeup now and uh, i'm gonna get ready to go to bed i don't think i will have energy to eat now i'm just gonna remove my makeup and then take a shower and then sleep and try to wake up again for later tonight this later tonight is my last day of this week then i'm coming back next week again anyways Lord, I'm going to ask you, am I selfish? Am I selfish that I don't want to cover my co-workers to go to work? 
uh, next week plus i couldn't do it anyways because i have my also my event i also have a uh, appointment for my child so i can't do it either so yeah but i still feel bad you know i feel like you know i'm so selfish that i i can't cover somebody else i have a life too you know i don't want to come to my I, I don't want to come to work on my days off. I want to I wanna enjoy my day off too. You know? You know, I manage my time. That's how I manage my time. I print all my schedules for the whole month. So that way, I know what I'm going to do. I know what my plan is. But also, well, I can't change my working schedule. Because that I get that from work. But I mean, my personal lives, of course, I, I add that to my schedule too. Like, for instance, school meeting, uh, what else? Doctor's appointment, you know, uh, family gatherings, you know. Yeah, I have to write that down on my calendar too because otherwise I'm going to forget. Yeah, but some people they'll ask you hey can you cover uh for me this you know like tomorrow okay on my on my birthday she was asking me to cover for uh her you know to work and i told her sorry i couldn't do it because that's that was on my birthday and i already have a plan i have a family gathering so i can't do it she was like, okay, how about next week, uh, you know, and she gave me the date. And then I told her, hold on, I got to look up at my calendar calendar first before I said yes. Because, you know, uh, I don't memorize my own calendar. That's why I look every day just to make sure that I'm following all that, you know, like the schedule that I'm supposed to be doing. And then I look at my calendar and unfortunately I couldn't do it either because I have the school appointment for my child. Yeah. And then that was going to be like on my work. And then the next day is the school appointment. So I can't, I can't do it. And I told her, well, I can't cover it for you because otherwise, you know, I won't be able to go to sleep and then go to work tired. And then, you know, I have to work too for me on the next day for her so I can't my body can't take the long <laughs> days of working I get tired too yeah every one of us get tired you know but I hope she don't get mad at me I hope she don't get like upset that you know she's gonna think that I don't like her or I don't uh, you know well, I hope she understands that I have a personal life too. I have my own life too. I have my own thing too. And like I said, I, I uh, follow my schedule. And that's the reason why too that, okay, I, okay, if I compare my life to her, she have two children and all her children are still small, still young, younger age. And that's why I choose to only have one child because I can't do it if I have two or three mostly if i'm just going to be alone who's going to be take care taking care of my child right it's hard if mostly if you have a lot of children and you're only by yourself it's hard and even if you have a family that's going to help for you okay let's say they're here you know and what if they have a job too you know i can't i can't compromise you know their schedule to mine or i cannot let them compromise my schedules to theirs because you know yeah my i mean my working schedule because i don't want to give burden to anyone you know yeah that's me that's why i just only have one child because it's hard if i i get more i'm scared to have another one because what if i couldn't take care of my own child what if uh you know what if i can't handle being you know being a mom of two I was like, no, I can't do it. So yeah, that's the reason why. And now my child is already 17 years old. He's already grown up. So I don't have to worry about him. 
well i still have to worry i meant to say is i don't have to take care of him like take take cares like used to be you know yeah now it's a lot easier now and he's a very big help very helpful to me uh like he's so independent even though when he was in his younger age he's very independent i taught him how to be independent so yeah even a younger age so he start he start to learn how to do things on his own so that's why when he grew up now he's 17 it's a lot easier for me and him now so that's why i kind of like okay i can handle my own time i can handle my hours i can handle my uh working times and a lot more yeah plus if i get like more children i will have more anxiety level will uh, rise even more so i was like nah i don't know yeah that's why now i'm i'm easy now like everything is so easy now like everything is smooth now you know okay that's all i can you know think about now i'm just chatting and talking whatever before i go to shower yes so bye